Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm Cara DeFalco. This is Cara's Cucina. And on this channel, we encourage everyday people to live healthier by inspiring them to cook delicious food at home. Today, we are making a fabulous Italian dessert. We're going to be making watermelon mint granita. I'm doing this for 4th of July because it has a beautiful bright red color, works great with some fresh berries on top. It's a really fun, easy dessert to make. Time consuming only in the terms of you do have to let it freeze uh, and it does require a little bit of attention during that process, but otherwise it's a really easy thing to make. So we're actually gonna start by making a mint simple syrup. So again, another really easy thing that you can do at home. So it's equal parts water and honey. I use honey in my simple syrups um, rather than sugar just to kind of uh, add a little bit of balance to things, particularly uh, desserts and, and cocktails. So honey, uh, certainly much more nutritious than uh, a regular white sugar. Um, and it will color your simple syrup, so it's gonna have that kind of golden hue to it, where if you wanted a perfectly clear syrup, obviously then you would use the, um, the white sugar. So we're gonna get this into our pot. Get it heated up. We're just gonna bring this to a boil until the honey and the water completely come together. Okay, we have bubbles. As we stir our simple syrup, we can see it's all one uniform consistency, so that's ready. We're just gonna turn it off, and now I'm gonna add in about a half cup of fresh mint leaves. And we're just gonna let these steep in here for about 30 minutes. After our mint simple syrup has steeped for about 30 minutes, we're just gonna strain it into a jar. I like to keep mine just in a mason jar or an old jam jar. Uh, you can store it in the fridge. It'll last you for a couple months actually in there. It holds up really well, especially because that's the other reason I make it with honey. Honey really never goes bad, so it's a nice way to have um, something that's easily preserved and usable for an extended period of time. So, but we just wanna get that strained. We'll set this stuff aside. And then what I have here is, let me get this out of everybody's way. What I have here is one and a half cups of pureed watermelon. So it's about a pound of, of watermelon chunks. Um, watermelon's one of the few things that I will actually pay the extra money to have uh, purchased pre-cut up versus buying a whole watermelon. Certainly buy a whole watermelon, chop it up if that's what you prefer. But it takes just around a pound of watermelon. You get, uh, get you about a cup and a half of watermelon puree. And we're just gonna round this up to two cups with our mint simple syrup. So another half cup of the mint simple is gonna go in here. Okay, then like I said, this just gets the lid. And that last little bit can stash in the fridge. You can use it in cocktails or you can keep making granita if you'd like. Give this a quick stir. And then this is a seven by 11 um, glass baking dish. We're just gonna pour this right in here. So you can see that the watermelon is not completely um, smooth. It does have some pieces of watermelon in it. Honestly, I don't, this seed is gonna bother me because it's a little dark, but in general, I don't really even take the seeds out. Most of them, um, you know, if I buy a seedless watermelon, they just get into the puree. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you're welcome to then strain this as well and get those pieces out. But again, it's not something that bothers me. I'm gonna wrap this up and this is gonna go um, flat in the freezer for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, I'm gonna show you what to do. After 45 minutes, you wanna take your granita out of the freezer and just move it around a little bit with a fork. You should have some ice crystals. You just wanna kinda of scrape them off the edges. And then from there, we're gonna rewrap it. It's gonna go back in the freezer and we're gonna do that two more times. So another 45 minutes, stir it with the fork, back in the freezer, 45 minutes, and then stir it with the fork. And then after that third time, from that point on, it should be ready to serve or you can continue to store it in the freezer for several days. Serve your watermelon mint granita as dessert for your 4th of July barbecue this weekend or anytime throughout the summer or just really whenever you want something light and refreshing. The recipe can be found at caradefalco.com. You guys can follow me, Facebook and Instagram at caradefalco. That is it for this week in the Cucina. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetito.